All right, here is my walkthrough for uh, my most recent patch, um, Sewer Jam. Uh, so uh, this is uh, three, there's basically three voices happening um, in here that are uh, not super um, dependent on one another, uh, but kind of independent as we go through. So let's check them out one by one, um, starting with uh, the bass drum here. So let me turn these other guys down um, and we'll see the simple bass drum that I've got going here. So everything's being um, clocked uh, by the mini brute here. Um, and uh, that clock is being sent up to the variegate that's running uh, my Platt's voice. Um, let's take a look here first at this uh, bass drum. So um, my mod gate here, mod one gate here is, or set, is set on gates. Um, you can see those um, right there. Those gates are triggering uh, the uh, through the patch bay. Um, those gates are triggering um, the ADSR. Um, and the ADSR is no longer controlling the frequency of the filter, but the controlling the frequency of oscillator two um, that's set um, to LFO rates. Um, but as it's as the ADSR is hitting, um, it's bringing up into audible ranges, so I can control the pitch of it's basically here, and then releases the drop time. But of course, it sounds better if we do something like that. Get a little snappier here. That's how I'm tweaking that. Have it last a little longer. Anyway, um, let's get back to a spot that I like. So that's the bass drum uh, happening there with oscillator two. Um, the output of all of this, of all the mini brute, um, is being fed up into my mixer. Um, it's really just functioning because of the mixer today. It's also a bunch of VCAs. Um, and then the output of that mixer uh, into the input of my effects aid um, that I believe is on um, a delay and chorus type thing. Um, so that's the main one right there, the bass drum. Uh, let's take a look at the other one that's uh, from here, uh, from my mini brute only. So in my main pitch row, uh, I've got some kind of minor -y scale uh, melody that I that I worked through, um, and that is um, being uh, pitched uh, or enveloped. Actually, the VCA. I'm not using the VCA of of the mini brute at all. That you can see this attenuated all the way up. Um, but my mod two track is set on envelopes, um, and then that is through the patch bay in this little mixer VCA into the CV. Um, so the pitch of or the 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 volume of this guy here. That volume right there is being uh, controlled with this, um, the triangle wave out, or uh, no, I actually have the square wave. The square wave is being sent into this mixer, uh, as is the white noise, uh, which is first going through this attenuator, so I can mix in some white noise. So this is square wave and white noise mixed together, um, being uh, VC, uh, controlled VCA-wise by my pressure two track, um, and then I can turn on extra notes like this. So, um, and that again is just going into the triangle out of this little mixer into the middle input of here, which then uh, is then controlled triangle slider here. Um, one other neat thing about this is then later, uh, or what I also can do is if I just come and unplug the actual pitch input, now I've got just kind of an interesting snare sounding part if I turn up the white noise here. And we've got this. Turn these guys off. square wave this um the envelope is um being triggered 
let you guys know by the gate things that are happening from the pitch, but it's also set on loop mode. And instead of controlling the DCA, it's plugged in now to my FM input. So I can make these interesting. Interesting playing with the filter in an interesting looping way. So um, that's what's happening down here on the mini brute. Um, and that is, um, yeah, I, I have a dummy cable cut in, set in here because um, of what's, uh, what's this attenuator one is normally, I'm using it for the white noise, um, but I don't want that to go to the cutoff um, like it is normally patched. So that's uh, what's going on over here. Um, and my other voice um, here is uh, Platt's. Um, that's being completely controlled by this Variegate 4 Plus that's on CV gate, CV gate. Um, again, getting the clock input from uh, my mini brute here. Um, and then the first one is controlling the pitch of, of this voice. Um, the second one is triggering it. So it is uh, randomly um, uh, different probabilities across the things. You can see the lights flashing here. Some of these uh, about half probability, some of them a lot more to give a somewhat consistent rhythm uh, going into the trigger input of plats. Um, and then uh, third one here is another CV one that just on some of the gate, uh, some of the steps um, is just setting a, a, at a different amount to the um, harmonics, um, which in this, uh, uh, in this mode of plats, kind of just tunes the other one uh, to a different note. Um, the other unique thing that I was kind of excited about figuring out is uh, this step, uh, sorry, track four here on my variegate is a, a gate track, um, not a CV track. Um, but you can see as it's going through, I don't have many of them activated, but occasionally uh, some of the steps you're seeing the probability here as it goes through. Um, so that only sends every once in a while. Um, and I have that gate going into the FM spot. And then I just tuned this up until that note, uh, when, when for triggered, it made the FM go to something that, that worked musically. So um, I have plats going out uh, into my three sisters, into the all input. Um, and the two, the low pass and the center, I have it on crossover mode, so the low pass gate and the uh, center band pass gate are going to two different places. Um, the low pass right into my VCA here. You'll notice also this one that's triggering plats is also being split um, into mass to give us a little bit of an envelope here. That's the low pass uh, sound of it. And the same exact signal from Platts is being sent uh, into Three Sisters, but then the band pass center gate here um, is doing another interesting thing here. So it's going into, it's getting some kind of wave shapey type stuff happening here uh, through maths. So um, my center band pass is going into channel uh, three, um, and then channel two here is coming uh, from my LFO2 that I'm, I've been playing with a couple different things here. Um, it's on a sequenced mode. Um, uh, the, the sine wave works cool. Gate wave does some crazy stuff. Uh, randomness is, is also very uh, neat. But what this is doing then is I'm, I'm mixing those together, but I'm only taking the OR. So if my LFO is higher than it, it, it kind of chops the wave up. So it does some interesting things to this uh, as we mess with that. So let's go ahead and bring in this is the bandpass center stuff. And if I hear a sine wave sweep through this. So it's only taking the higher voltage between the audio rate center bandpass of this versus the LFO2 from my mini root. So on square wave, let's switch some things. Here, given a random 
changes to the sound there. Mix that with the low pass sound. Spread it a little more. And we got an interesting little voice there. So, 